Nevada is a swing state and back in 2016 it narrowly went to Hillary Clinton and by this morning Nevada voters still didn't have a clear result for who would win their six electoral college votes. We're still on the edge of our seats. So this morning my husband woke up and said, we still don't know. Nevada voters like Joanna Jensen woke up without a clear winner and she's been waiting for this day for a while. I voted early. So I voted about two weeks ago. Jensen spent election day driving people to West Wendover's lone polling place for a ride sharing service. It was definitely more invigorated. So it was definitely um, more people voting this year. That's what led Jamie Richardson, a former city councilor, to run the polling station at City Hall. I also felt like this was a really important election to allow people to vote in person. So I figured I was a good person to volunteer. Richardson last worked a polling place 20 some years ago. A few things have changed. We have computerized um, voting booths now that have a um, USB drive in them that, that records the votes. But we don't actually count the votes on site. So how do they keep votes in this swing state safe? Richardson says first they make sure check in and votes cast match up. And you make, compare to make sure that the same number of people checked in also is the same number that voted. When the machines are ready, they remove the USB from each voting machine and the backup paper printout that comes with each. Richardson says everything is done in pairs of poll workers, so no one is left alone with ballots. From West Wendover, they head to the Elko County Clerk. The USB in the envelope, and then you zip it, and then there's a seal that goes in it. All the paper trail ones, you also take the seal off the printers and put the paper spools in a seal bag and seal it and that gets delivered to the county by a chef, sheriff's deputy. For Nevadans, much of the day was spent waiting. There's a lot of people that are just kind of waiting to find out. After 